Uh, it's dated June the 4th, 2022. I'll zoom that in just a little more. Well, here's one guy that could have made a difference. Could have made a whole difference in the outcome of that school shooting. But he was stopped. He was stopped. He's one of the first people on the scene. He rushed to help the shooter's pickup truck uh, when it crashed outside the school. It fled after the guy pulled out an evil looking gun. So, anyway, um, he called his wife and his wife brought him a gun. And uh, he was, he was uh, preparing to uh, charge the shooter after his wife brought him a gun, but was told by the arriving officers to back away. Let me get that just in there just a little. Maybe just too much. But the cop told him, hey, what are you doing? The officer asked as uh, Brescano or something like that began to march towards the school. He recalls responding, I'm going in and trying to stop him. But they stopped the guy from going in. Parents rushed to the scene and the police prevented him from going in. He said, he said, I told the cop he was already inside the school. The officer told him to stay back and to shut up. You know, these shooters are untrained people. Now what the hell's the difference between an untrained person going into the school to shoot the untrained uh, shooter. Think about that. They're on even ground. I'd want somebody to take up arms and fight for my kid as I would stand up and fight for theirs. It's all screwed up. You can see a lot of mass shootings, people. People are getting drugs now, they're getting them free. Where the hell did this damn shooter, this 18-year-old kid, get almost $5,000 to buy two AR-15 rifles, ammunition, a vest, and all this other stuff? Where did an 18-year-old unemployment, unemployed kid who just dropped out of school get that kind of money? Somebody, somewhere, is pulling a whole lot of strings. Been, been kind of a fact that most of these school shootings, uh, their parents were somehow mixed up with the military government somehow, and uh, uh, they drugged these people, they used uh, uh, brainwashing, and these are the kids that are going to, into your schools. If I can find that article, I'll include that with this. It was banned, but I'll put it in here. This shit doesn't happen just by chance. And all these shootings around the country, like Philadelphia and all over, somebody's, somebody's pulling the strings. Now, soon in Ohio, we're going to have uh, uh, constitutional carry. And you're going to see a lot of people get very polite after that. I think it's uh, June 14th, Flag Day. Yep. Okay, that's enough for this. my rambling. Uh, like I said, this kind of stuff doesn't happen by chance. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, including uh, Matthew McConaughey or whatever his name is. And, oh, yeah, he's another John Kerry uh, replacement. Okay, thanks for watching.